Welcome to Sheetwise. It's a long video, so we get right into it. Let's start with the simple data set. You see salesperson, country, sales, and pivot tables allow you to quickly summarize large data sets and extract meaningful insights. Let's see. We create our pivot table. We highlight the data set, go on insert, pivot table from table range, and now you see the highlighted range is chosen. You can change it if you want to. And now you can uh, choose if you want to create a new worksheet or if you want the pivot on the existing worksheet. Yeah, We start with a new worksheet and click OK. This creates a blank pivot table. Let's build our first pivot table by dragging fields into different areas. So drag the name in the rows and the country in the columns and you see here are the names and the uh, different countries now you can drag the sales into values and you see it's all added up you can change it to dollar just um, highlight it and choose the format and you see it's pretty easy. Rows display items for each name, columns for each country. And the values area shows the sum of the amounts from the chosen data set. Sum is the default calculation method, but you can click on this little arrow, value field settings, and then you can uh, choose another method like count or average. As always in Excel, you can change the format. So you don't see the pivot options at the moment. You have to highlight the pivot. Just click in it. And you see here the pivot table fields, the pivot table analyze and the design. We choose the design and say it should be green. And um, yeah, everything's gone. We click in it again and go on design again and you can see subtotals grand totals and we want to delete the grand totals in the columns and the rows and say off for rows and columns besides of the pivot uh, formats you can choose the normal formats too just highlight it and go on percent or um, another uh, currency or you can choose conditional formatting Highlighting cells greater than, let's say, 100 or 300. Okay. Ah, if you want a few more infos about conditional formatting, let's see my video. Another format topic is the white of the column. You see, here is the USA, and I drag and drop it between Indian, Indonesia and Pakistan. And you see, everything fits. Um, the pivot always try to fit the data in it to the column yeah if you don't want that you have to make a uh, adjustment you click in the pivot right click go on pivot table options and you see auto fit column whites on update if you click no okay then you can change things and now you see it doesn't change the width of the column anymore. Now we learn grouping data. We have another data set and this time we have dates in it. You see salesperson and sales. So we create a pivot, insert, pivot table, new worksheet, a little bit bigger. And now we drag the date in the rows and the person and the columns and the sales in the values and you see pivot does everything automatically it groups the date into cluster yeah and you see the small plus if you click it you can go from the year to the quarter and from the quarter to the month and to the day. Yeah. Make it a little bit 
bigger. So I just uh, insert the date and years, quarters, months are automatically added. So you see grouping dates can simplify your analysis by aggregating data into time periods. You can also group into categories. You see another data set with a department and product insert, pivot, okay. So we can put the sales and the values, uh, dollar, and choose the department. And you see all the products belonging to the department are added. So you can create groups by the department. Yeah, and just click on columns or click on the minus and you see you just have the uh, departments. So we drag and drop the department in the columns and then we want to sort it. At the moment it's sorted alphabetically but you can uh, choose to sort it by grand total. Just right click in the pivot and go on sort A to Z, set. set to A or more sort options and you can choose ascending sum of sales. Yeah, now you see it's every time a bigger number. Pivot is completely flexible. We put the department in the filter areas. And now you see why we have the filters. Um, we add the name and now you can choose the department, let's say food, and only see the colleagues from the food department. Yeah, you can add other filters like, oh, I want to see only Indonesia. I think you get the idea. And now we only want to see the colleagues uh, with low performance. You just go on the name, right click, filter, top 10, or let's say top 5, the list is pretty short, and you only see the best performers. Or filter, value filter. And you want only see uh, colleagues with less than like $200, okay? And we have to talk to Mr. Patel. If you see the data and know that Mr. Silva um, moved to another company, you just can right click on it and say filter, hide selected items. And you see he's gone here. If you click on this filter symbol, you see the complete list and see he's not anymore chosen. Now we put the product back in the department and expand everything. And now we, now we go on design and you see report layout. Click on it. And here you have the uh, option to choose something like tabular form. Yeah, you see now the products are not um, below the uh, department, they are uh, next to it. You just can a little bit play around. Compact is uh, like this. Uh, outline is like that. And tabular is like that. And you see here are subtotals. If you want them, uh, they are there. If you want to uh, delete them, do not show subtotals. You have to understand that pivots are there to show the data or uh, analyze them. But if the data change, Pivo doesn't recognize it. We go here in this column. Let's uh, put uh, one before that. And you see nothing happens. If you want to um, refresh the data, we click in it, right click, refresh, and you see now it's updated. So always refresh your pivot table after making changes to the source data to ensure accuracy. I think we go back to the filter system. You see here the filter um, table is empty, but we put the country in it. And you see here you can click and choose it, but we want to do it another way. Yeah, we go on pivot table analyze and there is insert slicer. Yeah, we want to choose country 
and I think this looks pretty decent. You can add another if you want to, um, like um, the department or the name, yeah, and you can slowly but surely start to build your own dashboard. I see and understand you want to see electronics in India or just the sales uh, from Indonesia. Yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate with the slicers. Like the slicers, we are able to make it a little bit more easy. We go on pivot table analyze, go on insert timeline, date, Okay, and you see, here is a long uh, timeline, and you can choose uh, to click on months. Oh, we showed March. This were the sales in March or November, or you say, ah, I just want to see the quarters. Yeah, Q1, Q3, Q3. Yeah, you see, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy and um, yeah, you can change the format if you want to. Now we learn how to calculate in Pivot. We um, highlight the data, insert Pivot table, and we drag and drop volumes and sales in it. Um, dollar, and that's fine. And, and drag the country in the rows, yeah. But now we want to know um, how high are the prices in the different countries? We go on pivot table analyze. We go on fields item sets, calculated field. Uh, we name it price and say sales in that field. You see here's uh, the sales through volume kilogram in that field and then we add that and you see here it's added okay and now you see the price in dollar per kilograms and so calculated fields let you create new metrics based on existing data but now we want to um, add another product because socks and shoes are now one we go on pivot table analyze calculated item we have to highlight the product. Yeah. Click on product, um, footwear, socks plus shoes, add, okay. And you see, here's our new fancy product. It's in the department clothes and it's a combination of socks and shoes. If you made a few adjustments, you just can click on list formulas and you'll see an, in an overview what is calculated here. If your boss don't like the uh, numbers, so you go on pivot table, you make a new pivot, um, sales in there and country uh, maybe here. Now you have the pivot and you go on analyze pivot chart and I think we choose the, the columns, here the, the cluster columns, and put it in here. And you see all the countries with their sales. Um, you can easily change now the pivot. So you could uh, put the country and uh, axis, and you could change the country uh, with the department, and you see the pivot changes and the uh, um, chart too. Or let's say the, the country and the department. So you see here are the different countries, um, Indonesia and India for alcohol. So that might be not the best uh, example, but uh, I think you get the idea. And if you want it on another uh, table, just right click and move it move chart to a new sheet and now it's much bigger but now let's talk about common mistakes i think one of the biggest problem is incomplete data so maybe you um, chose here this data made a pivot and then add a few lines these are not included in the pivot 
So you have to uh, check the data with pivot table analyze, change data source, and now you see what's it highlighted. Yeah, you see it's only till there. You can just put a few extra zeros on it, and now you're pretty safe that the data will be in your um, private. If you add data, you always have to refresh it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just leave a comment and uh, let me know if you missed anything. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.